Hi guys, um, today I want to share with you my experience of becoming a legend. Um, legend is pretty much uh, what everyone desires and what everyone wants. Yeah, um, if you are playing Hearthstone standard uh, mod, yeah, because a lot of people don't play standard uh, in general, a lot of people play Battlegrounds, etc. But uh, today we are going to talk about standard. Um, I have taken legend. I have reached legend. Um, I don't know how many times, uh, like 35, 36. Uh, I lost the count. I started playing uh, high, uh, high end Hearthstone. Yeah, on very high level. Um, I start. I, I started playing Hearthstone in May uh, 2000. 20. It was coronavirus pandemic. It was the times of coronavirus pandemic, and everyone was sitting home. And uh, you know, I thought, uh, what else I can do? Uh, I might enjoy myself in Hearthstone. Uh, I might enjoy climbing uh, the process of climbing up uh, on the ladder, and I want to reach legend. Um, so, in order to why why would you want to reach uh, legend? Because uh, it's it's the highest possible rank, yeah. Uh, as you know, and it really shows your skill. It shows your detim determination. It shows your um, grind that you uh, that you are persistent. And uh, if this doesn't uh, sounds like a very nice uh, goal for you. You get a very nice reward. Actually, when you you are const consistently reaching legend, uh, you get a lot of a lot of cards, and you, uh, this will help. Uh, this will help you with keeping up uh, your collection uh, up to date. You know, uh, receiving all the cards of every expansion, etc. So <coughs> let's uh, let's get to some easy steps. Uh, I don't want this video to be like, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, I don't want uh, to talk for about uh, some decks or strategies. No, I want to talk about getting to legend in general. If you want to get to legend, uh, you must understand three important things. First one, uh, getting to legend is a grind. It's a grind. It's not a uh, it's not a test of your skill. Test of your skill begins only on uh, Diamond Five. From Diamond Five till Legend, yes, it's a test of skill, and it's also a grind. Um, it's like you know, if we if we try to separate it, it's like sixty percent grind and forty percent of test of your skill. Before it's a grind, <coughs> so it takes your time, it takes your determination, etc. Secondly, um, if you want to get a legend, if you want to reach legend, you must start thinking in a different way. Um, yes, you are playing this. You are playing the game. The game is supposed to be fun. You are playing uh, games to get some fun. You know, to enjoy, uh, to have some, to, uh, to to enjoy your free time, etc. But when you are playing Hearthstone. You must enjoy the game, but at the same time, start thinking in analytical way. What do I mean? There is always, um, there is always a way to say that um, there is some kind of meta. You know that, uh, for example, right now it's uh, b before the patch. It was rogue meta. Rogue's decks were very wild. The Threatle Rogue, um, Miracle Rogue, um, yeah, if you can call it Miracle, they were very strong. And um, uh, but you can get all this information. This, this is what I call analytics, not by not by playing, but but by using the third-party websites. I'm mainly uh, talking about uh, HS Replace. HS, HS Replace is a very nice website, probably the best, which provides you with all the necessary information. Uh, information which 
a will, which is very nice for a person who begins his journey to legend. Because when I use, when I got my first legend, I just uh, took the. It was May 2020. It was uh, just the first patch uh, of uh, when the Demon Hunter was released. I just took the first deck which I saw on uh, HSR place, which was the best. It was Agro Demon Hunter, if I'm correct. And I reached legend just by grind, you know, playing, 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 playing. But after some time, you must think about it in different way. You must. Um, I, I, and I want uh, to point out, I don't want you to go to HS Replace and pick up the best deck, you know, uh, first deck, what you see, oh my god, it's Rogue, oh my god, it's, I don't know, Ramp Druid, uh, of course, no, Ramp Druid is not best, oh no, it's not the best deck, uh, oh, it's my big spell mage, uh, just copy, paste, uh, and play, no, you're not gonna reach Legend. You, maybe you will, yeah, you have 30, 30 days in months, that uh, it will be a brain dead legend, yeah, sorry. Uh, you must think about the meta, you, okay, uh, what is the meta? Oh, meta is more of a combo meta, yeah, Ro death rattle rogues need some turns to set up the, the big death rattles proc, uh, miracle rogue, uh, big spell mage, so we can abuse this meta, we can play something aggressive. It's the second part, analytics. And third part is sadly, I see. I think it's sadly for most of the people. How, if you want to become a legend, you must pay. You must grow your collection. You must buy packs. You must uh, buy uh, cards. Your yeah, pre-orders are very nice thing. If you are playing Hearthstone competitively, um, and uh, then you will have more options. You will be flexible. Uh, modern Hearthstone is very dynamic. Blizzard are doing patches every month. Uh, they are very, very fast. Even not months, they are doing patches like several times per month. They are very fast, they react fast. Meta changes all the time, so you must be dynamic. Uh, and today I will present you the deck which took me to Legend just yesterday. I, wa I was like run, I was a Diamond 2 with one star. Uh, and I played this deck with only one lose, uh, and all other games were wins until I reached Legend. It's a uh, aggro warrior, warrior, uh, enrage warrior. Someone, uh, yeah, it's uh, correctly to call enrage warrior because there is a lot of enrage mechanics. Uh, it's uh, a huge package of cards from uh, Castle Natke. Yeah, these cards they form. Um, imbued X, yeah, they form the core of uh, this uh, arch uh, archetype, yeah, and it's great, it's uh, absolutely great, but it got uh, a lot stronger with uh, the last expansion, March of the Lich King, yeah, uh, if I call it correct. Uh, Sun Fury Champion, absolutely busted card, a very nice card, especially when you play it with Embers of Strength. Uh, if you have, for example, Anima Extractor on the field, or even if you don't have, on turn 3, uh, play Sun Fury Champion with Embers, Embers of Strength, so 1 uh, damage to all the minions, plus you will have 3 wounded minions, after which you can uh, buff them with Imbued X. Uh, the uh, strategy of decks like this, and you should just remember this strategy, is to keep up the pushing push uh, and play uh, like one, two, three, four, five. You need to create the pressure, non-stop pressure must, uh, because it's, uh, that's how you win. You see, you, your power spike is around turn three, four, uh, and probably you have a very nice turn six if you have a nice board. And turn ten, seven, you can finish the opponent, but after that, you start falling behind. Uh, this deck is nice, uh, it works, it's really great. Don't uh, let HS replace uh, statistics about Warrior fool you. Warrior is very nice class. Uh, they are viable uh, and uh, they have draw. Uh, they have a nice board uh, presence, pressure. Yeah. So yeah. Um, also, there is some classics like Agro Druid. Yeah, it's a some someone will say a brain dead deck, but it's not. 
it uh, there is no brand that decks uh, right now like uh, agro Dr demon hunter was uh, back in the days uh, this deck uh, demands to make decisions you know when what should i play should i play jerry uh, rick carpenter or should i uh, develop my board or should i buff uh, i don't know uh, iron deep truck to make a trade etc etc um, yeah, a classic deck. I will leave all the codes for the decks behind uh, or below the video. Um, it's a very nice list. Uh, as my, I, I don't recommend you to use my list. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It works. I got this with, with this deck. I got to Diamond Two. After that, I was playing Warrior because I I got stuck with Agro Druid. Um, you need momentum. You need a very nice momentum, and you need your opponent to. Uh, don't have an answer and uh, excuse me it's a, a it's a very <laughs> strange situation if opponents uh, if, oppo if opponent has an answer it's really st hard to play and you just ff uh, and look so uh, turn three turn four is your power spike maximum yeah and after that you start falling behind very fast and the game is over and another deck is today's special uh, people some people will hate me but I believe in Arcan Mage. When I saw Vexalus and when I first played the Arcan package, I believed in this uh, deck. I think it's the best mage deck. A big spell mage is fun, yeah, it's cool, but uh, I, I love. I, uh, I played a lot of Lunacy Mage, if people uh, remember this deck. It was, the, it was my favorite deck. It was the most random legends. I got like three. Uh, oh. Four legends with Lunacy Mage. It was insane. Even when uh, um, Deck of Lunacy was dead and everyone was playing uh, Spell Mage without Deck of Lunacy, I still played with Deck of Lunacy and got to Legend. <coughs> People probably remember how crazy it was when you turned your uh, seven cost spells into the uh, ten cost spell of Hunter, which summoned uh, three five. Uh, Kodos <coughs> with charge and they attacked enemy face. It was incredible. It turned around every single game. It was madness. Uh, this deck, it, uh, as you know, I think I, I love mage, which uh, ab uh, the mage decks, which abuse uh, refreshing spring water and spell power. You know, uh, the mm, different magic combos uh, the, this idea I don't like yeah I also like big spell mage but uh, I think it's boring more than hearthstone if it's very rapid it's very dynamic it's very fast uh, and uh, gameplay uh, should all uh, and mage should uh, is more adaptable to it you know something like um, druid uh, by the nature of the class druid is very slow and it requires a ramp this list is very nice guys it works i played uh, from f uh, fifth diamond to third diamond uh, with this deck yeah i dropped after after it i lost uh, a lot and i won a lot this deck is good because uh, you can stall uh, you have some defense uh, to stop the uh, to stop the attack you can freeze uh, enemy minions uh, you develop uh, your uh, Arcan bolts, yeah. You have spell power. It's very crucial to draw Aguin uh, and to play her so she dies. And if she passes her buff to I don't know my Gister's Apprentice or Arcan Wu Vegan, it's uh, perfect, perfect. Especially Magister's Apprentice. Uh, uh, a siphon mana is generally here to reduce the cost of Arcan bolts, but also can be used to kill the opponent opponent uh, because uh, for example you can have a combo even in for example a turn 10 if uh, Agvin is in the end of the deck you need Arcan Bolt to cost zero you can play um, because Agvin and Vexalus cost 10 but general combo is Agvin dies passes the buff uh, Vexalus uh, you play Vexalus on turn 8 turn 9 when uh, mana thirst is procced you have like 3 4 Arcan Bolts uh, count Arcan Bolts like this uh, <coughs> Agvin gives two uh, spell damage, so it gi it damages five, uh, but it damages two times, so it's uh, ten. So if you have three, it's thirty. If you have four, it's forty. If you have five, it's fifty. If you don't have Agvin, you can also look for uh, a finisher. Uh, it's pretty much fireball. 
with Vexalus. So four is uh, <laughs> four uh, multiplied on six is twenty four. Uh, five is thirty. Uh, six is sixty six. Uh, yeah, so you have a pretty nice damage. Uh, you you at start you contest the board uh, and you get up some icon bolts and voila. Uh, yeah, guys, there is a lot of other decks. Pure Paladin. Uh, I don't know. Uh, whatever people play. Demon Hunter is busted. Demon Hunter is very nice. Spell Demon Hunter. Uh, Quest Demon Hunter, I think it's not so good. But people play it. Like, whatever. People play whatever they want. Death Knight. Uh, you know, I was a little bit skeptical about Death Knight. Uh, at first, I tried playing the... I tried playing the Frost package, I really liked uh, the Frost package, but it was unplayable because of how powerful was Blood uh, package with uh, 40 cards, uh, with uh, Renatal. But after Renatal nerf, I will say you guys don't play Renatal, it's trash. It's just, uh, no, it's not worth it. Uh, 35 HP, uh, it's nothing. Uh, in Modern Hearthstone, 10 HP, it was, uh, it was huge. Uh, and I, 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 I really think that the Death Knight, uh, Death Knight class is very nice designed. Yeah, it has a lot of potential, but uh, I don't feel like uh, like I enjoy playing it. I really like Arcan Hunter, yeah, because I had a very cool signature card. But uh, however, people really don't like them, as I know. Uh, it's really quite straightforward. Uh, you have a bunch of Arcan spells yeah. uh, here. You Im you buff them by uh, if, if they are in your hand by Silver Fast Rider or by this card. Yeah, and um, you also usually use uh, Shock Sp Shock Speeder. Uh, it's still a very it's a still a very powerful card with Bran. Uh, you constantly attack attack with uh, your one cost weapon with two cost weapon three cost weapon etc and you build up uh, the damage uh, you summon a lot of links with uh, because this is an arcane spell uh, so you summon lynxes yeah paladin it's pure paladin uh, very strong deck very strong deck dragon paladin I i'm not sure priest uh, i don't know guys haven't played uh, rogue after nerfs i've seen only uh, con conction yeah shaman don't know i don't play v v warlock well uh, imp warlock was not touched i think it's still a very strong deck so yeah yeah and i hope you enjoy uh i will make some videos later about some special decks uh maybe something you know off meta because people people usually like uh, to play off meta decks yeah thank you guys bye